Today's video is brought to you by Green Man Gaming, your source for awesome PC game deals. Save on AAA games and classic indie titles with discounts over 90% in some cases. More details after the video. Nathaniel comes in with a question about high frame rate gaming and he wants to know... He wants to know whether he should wait for AM5 or go, oh, do AM5 or wait for Aero Lake. High FPS gaming, currently 13700K on a 7900XTX. That's okay, honey. Words can be hard. They can be. So, Nathaniel, I appreciate the question. I appreciate the support. Um, let's take a step back and think about something for a minute. You are currently on the second best CPU Intel has to offer. The 13900K being the best, the 13700K being really, really close. And if you're just gaming, they're basically the same thing. The, the 13900K being if you're content creating, live streaming, multitasking, you have three monitors. I would buy the i9 for those, but for most people, the 13700K is fine. Heck, the 13600K is fine for most people. AM5 currently consists of Zen 4. Zen 5 will not be out till next year. And he sure. asked about Arrow Lake. He did. Arrow Lake, it, it's not Arrow Lake, it's Arrow Lake. Correct. I think I said Arrow Lake. It's A-R-R-O-W, oh, yeah. as in the bow and arrow. Arrow Lake is coming probably October 2024, about 18, uh, 15 months from now when we're recording this. The... Zen 5 chips on AM5 are also coming about 15 months from now. At least that's what we're expecting. Mm -hmm. None of that's confirmed. Correct. Zen 5 should be 20 to 30% faster than Zen 4. Which will be AM6. No. It'll no, it'll still be AM5. AM5 still be an AM5. Unlike Intel, AMD keeps their sockets for more than that's five true. minutes. So AM5 with Zen 4... You know, you're not alone in this. The whole AM4, Zen 3, AM5, Zen 4, but then yep. Zen 5, and then it'll be Zen 6 on AM5, and then Zen yep. 7 on AM6. Yep. I've gone cross-eyed. I need the uh, button from Austin Powers, uh, The Spy Who Shagged Me, where they're talking about time travel. But wait, if I went back to 1967 to stop Dr. Evil, and I was frozen in 1969... And Austin Power turns to the camera and goes, oh no, I've gone cross-eyed. <laughs> Look, I like AMD, but that, that is confusing as, as, as can be. If you were to replace your 13700K with a Zen 4, you would, you would see a decrease in FPS in most games. Now... Before all the keyboard warriors rush to their comment section to say, but Tech, don't you know the Ryzen 7 7800X 3D is the fastest gaming CPU in the world? I saw a benchmark over on this other Tech YouTuber site. Yes. Yes, it is. The Ryzen 7 7800X 3D is the fastest gaming CPU in the world. If you are running benchmarks on clean test benches at 1080p, high detail, and an RTX 4090. You are not. Neither is anybody else. Those benchmarks don't mean what everybody thinks they mean. We have tested this. We have tested this at 1080p. We actually used a 3090 Ti, and yes, the 3D chips from AMD at 1080p using the 3090 Ti beat Intel's chips. Then we replaced the 3090 Ti with an RX 6700 XT, went to 1440p high detail, and they do not. In fact, they're often slower than not only Intel's chips, but slower than AMD's non-3D chips. And the reason for that is because AMD's 3D chips have a lower base clock speed than their non-3D chips. And that matters more the minute the GPU is a limitation. So, now to be fair, Nathaniel has a 7900 XT, XTX. That's way faster than a 6700 XT. Correct. But it is not as fast as a 4090, and he is undoubtedly, he didn't say, 
I'm just going to assume he's not playing at 1080p because buying a thousand dollar video card to play at 1080p is ridiculous. Although high FPS gaming, I'm, I mean, no, come on. Well, I mean, competitive gaming requires high FPS, but he didn't say that in there. There's only a couple of reasons why you'd want to do high FPS gaming. Yeah, at 1440p. As far as I'm concerned, 1080p is over. You have that hardware. You're not. For the three people on Earth playing at 1080p using $1,000 video cards and $400 CPUs, please stop. Unless you are a professional esports player paying, oh, playing in tournaments with cash prizes broadcast. I mean, okay, if you're a member of the, the Overwatch League and, and exactly. you're getting paid to play games. Then that's a different... But you know what? They're not paying for the hardware anyway. No, that's true. They all get all sponsored, provided everything. Yep. If you're buying your own hardware, 240 hertz, 1440p monitors are not that expensive. There's no need to be a 1080p. 1440p. Did he just... Yeah, okay. So the 3D chips are a waste of your time. They're nice, but again, clean test benches. Yeah. Real world scenarios. They, and he doesn't say what game. They but... aren't as great as everybody thinks they are. They're nice. I don't knock them. So being on 13th gen, you think he should skip 14 and 15 and head to 16? Or do you think he should skip 14 and head to 15? 15th would probably... Arrow Lake is going to be a waste of your money as well. It'll be faster, but it's not likely to be faster by enough to really matter. Let me put it this way. How much money are you willing to spend? This is a generic question to everybody, everybody. watching. What's your How budget? much money are you willing... But even if you have a lot of budget. That's true. There's so many things to spend money on in life. Yes, there is. If he were to replace an i7-13700K with an i7-15700K October of 2024, 15 months from now, he will need a new motherboard because it's on LGA 1851. Mm -hmm. He mm -hmm. might or might not need new RAM because it'll be DDR5. If he has DDR5 now, he didn't say he's no. fine. <laughs> if he's on DDR4, he'll need DDR5. He, will. he might need more RAM or faster RAM. Mm -hmm. He will at least need a new cooler adapter if he keeps his cooler. That's true. Because they've, they have not changed the whole position, but they have changed the pressure requirements. Yeah. And so coolers will need adapters for LGA 1851. Mm -hmm. He's going to spend four, six, seven. He might spend $800. And what he'll get is a CPU with the same core counts that he has now. Mm -hmm. And give or take... 20% more performance. But with a 7900 XTX at 1440p, that's not going to translate into 20% more frames. No. Are you okay to spend $800 to go from 150 frames per second to 170 frames per second? That's a lot of money for that. He does have DDR5. I mean, you do you, man. But that's what do you kind and you you didn't tell us what he's expecting and a, and a budget. So. He should skip fifteenth at the least. Sixteenth gen is Lunar Lake, and that will be in twenty twenty five. So that'll be an upgrade from twenty twenty two because his thirteen seven hundred K is a twenty twenty two chip. Yep. Upgrade every three years. Upgrading every two years is a waste of money. Well, three years will be twenty twenty five. Right, well, and that will be sixteenth gen Lunar Lake. Yeah. And that will be the last chip of LGA 1851, or at least that's what we believe. Because uh, Beast Lake in 2026 will be a new socket. Correct. Thanks, Intel. So that'll be a new socket. And that way he can buy the best available chip on the socket. And at that point, please buy the i9. I mean, just buy whatever the best is when it launches. And that way he doesn't have to deal with a midterm upgrade. Or... You wait to see what Zen 5 does next year on AM5. Mm -hmm. I don't know. We've heard rumors. Exactly. We don't know. So if Zen 5 is interesting, maybe you move to it because you think I'd rather be on a more future-proof platform because I'll go to Zen 6 because it's a drop-in CPU upgrade. Well, it also depend on his games because some games like... Intel, some like and AMD. Some like AMD, some like NVIDIA. Do you know what I mean? So it just depends on your games as well. Some are more CPU-dependent, GPU-dependent. That's very tricky to answer right now because we don't have all the information. 
and he should reevaluate when it comes to 2025 mm-hmm. with Lunar Lake. Because it's entirely possible at that point in time that we'll start to get leaks and information on Beast Lake in 2026. Yep. Beast Lake is supposed to have a big upgrade in core counts and a big upgrade in IPC. Both the um, the CP, the P cores are being redone with the new architect, microarchitecture and the E cores are being redone for Beast Lake. Maybe stretch it another year. Now this is altered if his 7900 XTX isn't good enough and he decides to buy the next-gen video card. Maybe then he should do a CPU upgrade. I mean, you can throw so much money. It's a luxury having a computer and gaming on it. I like to encourage people to make upgrades where the difference is a wow moment. And And nothing next year is going to wow you. And it can last, and you can get some value out of it. And it might take till Beast Lake to wow him. Even Lunar Lake in 2025 may sort of be a... I mean, I went from a 2018 CPU to a 2022 CPU four years. I noticed it, but I wasn't wowed. Going from an i9-9900K to a Ryzen 9 7950X was a nice upgrade. I can see the difference. I can, I can tell I can do more with it. It's, it's faster. It's smoother. I could have kept it or left it. It it didn't make me go, now that's an upgrade. So, what do you want to add to this? Um, What I would add is just try and give us a little more information when you're putting your questions so that we can... Resolution... Games played, yep. frame rates expected. Budget. Because I'm assuming about 144 frames per second. If he wants 300 frames That's per second. That's a whole different kettle of fish. Um, That's a whole different conversation. Then he should have a 49. <laughs> you know, high FPS can mean quite a few different things to different people. So, yeah, just a little more specifics. But um, I think I think you've nailed it. He just needs to wait to see what is actually going to be available. He's got a great CPU. Mm-hmm. Enjoy your computer, man. Yeah. You don't have to upgrade because new shiny stuff came out. Just because something new is coming, yep. just enjoy your machine, man. You got a great computer. Green Man Gaming is a game seller that offers publisher-sourced game keys at incredible prices. This is not a key reselling site. Everything here is 100% direct from the publishers. Green Man Gaming has been in business for 10 years selling discounted game keys, famous for their publisher sales, where almost everything from a specific publisher is on sale at once. Green Man Gaming offers deep discounts on older games as well as fair discounts on brand new ones, sometimes as much as 25% off pre-orders. Now you may be wondering, how do they do this when the same game is full price on Steam? Simple. They are passing on part of their cut to you as the customer. It is typical for 70% of the purchase price to go to the publisher and 30% to go to the retailer. So if Green Man Gaming offers a 22% discount on a brand new game, that's basically them passing their cut over to you. For new release games, AAA games, and major publisher titles, Green Man Gaming has been our very own primary source for games in the past few years. And we recommend them for your own game library as well.